بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ریگارڈنگ دا ہولی قرآن دا مسکنسیپشن اٹ لائک ٹو برنگ ان ٹو ڈسکشن ٹو ڈے ریلیٹس دا بلسنگ آف ریڈنگ سورہ حجرات پرائمرلی دیر از جسٹ ون نیریٹو وچ از رپورٹیڈ بائی ٹو ڈفرنٹ چینج آف نیریشن اینڈ بوتھ دیز نیریٹو آر رپورٹیڈ بائی یوبائی نقاب فرام دا پروفٹ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ون آف دیز چینج از فاؤنڈ ان واحد ایس تفسیر الوسیط اینڈ دی ادر ون از فاؤنڈ ان سالویس تفسیر Uh, let me first read out the text uh, of this narrative before you before we comment on its uh, chain of narration uh, it is uh, reported by Abu ibn Ka from the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam man qara surah al-hujurat rutiya min al-ajr bi 'adad man ata'a Allah wa 'asahu which means that a person who recites surah hujurat he will be rewarded equal to the number of persons who who obeyed god and who disobeyed him so the number of people who obeyed god and the number of people who disobeyed this number will be equivalent to the reward that a person will get uh, he, uh, if, if he recites Surah Hujurat. Now, this narrative has been regarded to be totally concocted by Hafiz ibn Hajar, and perhaps the reason for this is the uh, existence of two extremely weak narrators in the chain of narration of this narrative. Uh, one of them is Harun ibn Kasir, who is regarded to be majhul by Abu Hasim, and the other one is Salam ibn Sulaim al-Madaini, about whom Hafiz Mizzi has the following comments recorded uh, from various Ajal authorities in his book, Tehzeeb al-Kamal. Uh, thus, for example, Yahya ibn Ma'in say that uh, Salam ibn Sulaim is laysa bishay. And another comment that he has made is za'ifun la yuktabu hadithuhu. And Muhammad bin Abdullah bin Ammar al-Musli says laysa bihujjah. And Ibrahim bin Yaqub al-Juzjani say that he's ghair al-siqa. Similarly, Abu Zura' and Abu Hatim regard him to be za'if. And Imam Bukhari, Imam Nasai, and Abdul Rahman bin Yusuf bin Kharash say that he's matruk. And at another place, uh, Imam Nasai's comments are laysa bishiqa wa la yuktabu hadithuhu. And Abu Qasim al-Baghwi say that he is za'if al-Hadith jiddan. And one of uh, the comments of Abdul Rahman bin Yusuf bin Kharash also is that he is a kazaab, that he is a liar. So on the basis of this information, perhaps Hafiz ibn Hajar has regarded this narrative to be concocted. And there is no reason to regard the other uh, narrative which is found. Of course, the text is the same. It is found in Salavis Tafsir, which has different uh, different chain of narration. But the existence of these two narrators is, is all, can also be seen in that narrative. So there's no reason that we regard that narrative to be uh, concocted as well. All in all, we can say that uh, the correct way to re- reap the blessings of a surah is to have a living relationship with that surah. And that can only be achieved if we understand the surah, if we know the surah by its meanings, if we reflect on the contents of the surah. And similarly, we're also able to communicate its message to others. So these are some of the ways in which can, we can really reap the blessings of a surah. However, relying on such narratives which are absolutely concocted and baseless, uh, as has been pointed out by Rajal and Hadith authorities, uh, this would lead us nowhere, and we should totally and completely disregard such narratives. Akulukwa lihaza wa staqtarullah li wa lakum wa lisarul muslimina wal muslimat.